Canada in all of the English speaking world, probably more than anywhere else. Despite the best efforts of our, our, our people in France, in Italy, in Spain, we're well, really, really glad to take a journey that has been reflected upon us. So well done. I know it was difficult for you all to get here. Um, we've had some idiots over there who were being incredibly obnoxious. Um, on Thursday, we will be in Aflo on the banks of the Shannon. And next week, we're going to be in Wicklow and Wexford. We are going to go to the 26 counties. We probably will make it at some point up to the city county. The plan is that by July, we will have, hopefully, several hundred, if not a thousand people outside Dáil Éireann saying no to it. That's when it becomes very, very difficult for the tyrants in Dáil Éireann. Can I ask you, do you, do, do you believe... Do you believe we wait and ask the questions afterwards if you don't mind. Please, you can ask her afterwards if you don't mind. What's happened in France, the Gilets Jaunes are back on the streets now. Macron's government is collapsing. Once France goes, once Italy goes, the UK is obviously in a difficult place at the moment. But once the big European powers start to collapse under this, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. Things are really going to intensify over the coming weeks and months in the United States. More than likely, President Trump will be re-elected. That, for the deep state, for the globalists, is going to be their worst nightmare. That's why they're ratcheting all of this up. Everything is moving in our favor now. Everything is moving. That's why they're screaming. That's why they're trying to inflict all of this.
stands between you and this. Because without this book, this mob has a full way. So anybody who puts on something with the semblance of a uniform will turn into a dictator. This book stands in this way. We are at the last frontier now and this is the Because in the past two months we have actually experienced something that was absolutely incomprehensible even six months before that it would be possible to actually take away people's the most fundamental rights that you have, to walk around, to sit down, to read a book, to be with your family, to be with your dying uh, parents, friends, relatives, <laughs> to go into a church and light a candle. These most basic things that make our life meaningful were taken away like that overnight in total contempt of this book. And we have gone to court in an effort to rectify this, but we have encountered immediately a profoundly corrupt judge who is of the same ilk as these people here. Not my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 